Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time out, we finally defeated our arch nemesis. We finally managed to down cyber psycho Zaria Hughes. She's behind us at last, which means that Northside is now completely clear of everything. Um, I mean, unless, of course, Regina manages to drop another sneaky side quest there for us. And we also met up with an interesting fellow by the name of Uzob Bozo. Um, a quirky kind of guy who actually, despite his appearance of his crazy hair, deranged looking face and um, munitions stuck where his nostrils should be actually turned out to be kind of a level headed guy I mean level headed in so much as he stormed straight into the middle of Chinatown and started uh, slaughtering tiger claws which I, you know I'm all for I, I'm, I'm not against that sort of behaviour right so uh, we're back in V's apartment and we looked up the um the bart moss collective site didn't we bart moss collective the uh what was it now time to wake up dot web and yeah best isis pays for any information about swedenborg riviera's true identity so i think i kind of gleaned from this that that's the leader of the bart moss collective i think judging by the backlash she got from the other people actually contributing to the website i'm guessing that's what it is um i also stashed away a few unique weapons and there was also an ncpd uh, subcon video in between and for anybody that watched that don't worry you can sleep at night again i found my tanto it was with the four tiger claws that were uh, um that we're having a little go at the schisms in the back alley when i managed to recover that so oh hello judy hey judy what's up hey can you come over stat something happened oh yeah just come i do not like the sound of that enjoying the weather oh shit, it's gonna be evelyn isn't it i bet it's evelyn um, well, I did have plans to head to, um, where was I going to go? That's kind of throwing me for a loop now. Um, I had plans to head to, uh, downtown. I think it was going to be downtown or possibly, uh, Haywood. Anyway, that sort of rough area because, uh, I was going to go visit Delamain. Um, but... Judy sounds like she needs to see us in a hurry. I don't think I'm going to like what we find. Um, right, so... I suppose we need a quick recap on where we are with Judy. We haven't seen her for quite a while. Last time we saw her, in fact, was when she managed to pull those two brain dances from Evelyn's uh, broken psyche. And uh, Evelyn, of course, was sort of a, a bit of a catatonic mess on her, um, her bunk. I don't like where this is going at all. Right, uh, before we step outside, let's clear... I seem to have some sort of marker. What marker have I got on my map? Oh, to my car, apparently. Uh, right, let's clear that off. Oh, <laughs> I haven't cleared it off at all. I've managed to put another one in its place. Uh, stop tracking. There we go. Now, what have we got selected in terms of journal? Meet Takimura. Right, um... Have oh both sides now. Yeah, here we go. Go to Judy's apartment. You ever hear the saying, no good deed goes unpunished? You hold your hand out to someone, you get bitten. You help a poor soul in need, you get fleeced for all you're worth. Save someone's life? Fill in the blank. Oh god, I don't like the sound of this. Now that's interesting. So Judy's apartment, but we've got markers for Watson and Northside Industrial. Interesting. And I've completely I've completely failed to actually mark it as our objective. <sighs> right, try again. Not the first time I've done that, probably not the last either. Right, we need some fast wheels. Uh, let's get the... Yeah, let's get the shine on the go. Where are you? Here you are. Just there will do. Hang in here. Oh god, NCPD's on us again. Goody gumdrops. The good thing is, in wheels like this, we can deftly outrun them. Um, yeah, so I don't... I, I think Judy was kind of at a bit of a loss as to what to do with Evelyn, if I remember correctly. I don't think she had any ideas of 
any sort of treatment or anything to do other than just kind of whoa how did i manage to avoid that um just kind of leave her to recover and uh whoopsie and just hope that she gets better but um yeah i don't hold out a lot of faith in that judging by the way she was sounding just now All right, here we are. Judy's is here on the right. Uh, the, the right? The other right. All right, park it there. I've no idea how I'm going to reverse it back out from that spot, but... I'm not going to like this, am I? This is going to be horrible, I can tell. Okay. Here we go. Judy. Oh shit! The bathroom. What the hell? Whoa! Herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Johnny. Stop talking, I was, I was only gone an hour. Oh no! What the hell? Doesn't it doesn't say she's dead? You checked your pulse. She's gone. Oh shit. Um was she Oh my god. Was she active? Was she like responsive before you left? How did this happen? I don't know. I told you Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out and I got back to <laughs> Oh, no. If I'd just known, I'd Oh, shit. I mean, from what she's saying, it sounds like she hadn't changed. She hadn't sort of recovered from when we last saw her, so I can't blame Judy. Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something that it was off. Stop. How could you? Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Wow. So we said before it was like she was trapped inside her own mind. I suppose she had a moment of clarity and knew she was going to slip back into that tormented state and just decided to take an out. Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Oh. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Uh, yeah, actually, it might be best leaving her where she is. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. Least we can do is treat her with some dignity. That's fair, I guess. Oh, man. Oh, Evelyn. God, this is deja vu. This is deja vu, no, isn't it? We were carrying her... Danger. Last time we were carrying her, we were taking her out of the scaff den. Tomorrow? No! Oh. Today! What part of dead don't you understand? Seriously? They're not going to pick her up till no, tomorrow? she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Um... Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? You're probably not the way to get them on side. Fine. I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. He'll be here soon. Oh, man. He told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Jesus. Death's a daily thing. <laughs> you went easy on them. Yeah, I'm not going to stick up for the NCPD. They are understaffed. I do get that, but... All things considered, you let them off pretty light. 
Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Jeez. I, I'm kind of torn over... Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. I'm kind of torn because I think Evelyn... Outside. Yeah, sure thing. I think Evelyn did kind of plan to eventually do us over with that deal with the Voodoo Boys, but... Still, shit. Close the door, V. Please. Okay. Give you a moment. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that cigarette case again. Bum a cig. <laughs> yeah, sure. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Uh, of course. Yeah, why? <laughs> Fine, here. What, why would I even challenge it? That was her smoke case. Yeah, I took it from your desk, didn't I? Um, <laughs> Sorry, Johnny, you want it back? Want to hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. <laughs> well, someone seems to like it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. If I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Can't believe she gave up. Um, I kind of can. Like I said, she was tormented inside her own skull after what the scavengers did to her. Uh, well, actually, what after what the Voodoo Boys did to her, it wasn't even the scavengers, was it? It was the Voodoo Boys that screwed her head originally. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Oh, you don't need to talk. I did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. Woodman? He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. Oh, and once he got bored, no. he pawned her off. What? Is this after she got a brain fried? Oh, no. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. Jesus. Um, okay, so was there anything else you managed to find? Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Hmm. Beauty boys? No explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. You're tearing yourself to pieces there, Judy. Jesus. I also wonder whether it might be the Voodoo Boys. After the initial meeting, they did something to her without her knowing and got her constantly scrolling, maybe, because they didn't want to take any chances she might miss something in Yorinobu's apartment. Um, 
Oh god, that's harsh. Had no idea. She... Oh, I, I completely misread that option. I thought you said had no idea she was a monster. Jesus, speak ill of the dead. Wow. So Woodman, if Woodman actually managed to persuade me that he wasn't all that bad a guy, that he was actually looking out for his girls. What a prick. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But uh, I'd rather be alone now. Yeah, no, I get that. To keep in touch. Of course. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Well, that is... Uh, that's a horrendous revelation. Evelyn gets a moment of clarity and the hell that she's been through decides that she'll use that brief moment to kill herself. Oh God, how appropriate. Um, and not only that, when she was, after she was fried by the Voodoo Boys hacker, Woodman dragged her into his office and used her as a, well, a, a doll, for want of a better phrase. Holy shit. And it was only when she was past the point of no return that he took her to fingers to try and get her patched up so that he could keep his little doll. Ay, ay, ay. Can we go back into Judy's place? I guess not. Oh, man. She's obviously not going to answer. She's on the roof. Oh, hello. Okay. Had they taken her? Oh, they've taken her. Shit. Look at the tray of meds as well. That's crazy. Okay. Um, one brief look around just in case anything... I, I doubt anything new has... Uh, has actually spawned in this place, but just in case, just on the off chance. Oh shit. Wow, GD cleaned up quick. Okay, let's get out. Oh. So Judy's going to get in touch with Susie Q back at uh, Lizzie's and try and work out... Jesus, I don't know. Try and work out how to get back at Woodman, I guess? Well, that was utterly horrendous. Oh, good news. We've hit 35 street cred. We've just hit 35 street cred. That means that we can go and get those two pieces of cyberware that were level locked. Only problem is I can't remember what the bloody hell they were or where I came from. <laughs> were they cyberware? There were two items that I remember were right next to each other in, in some places inventory. Or were they quick hacks? They might have been quick hacks from Nyx, actually. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to bear that in mind. Right, for now, let's uh, work out our next move. 4.30 in the morning. I suppose I can go back to... Uh, back to my original plan. And... There we go. Delamain HQ. 4.30 in the morning. Might as well go and visit the... Uh, the one guy in Night City that never sleeps. Holy crap. Right, here we go. Here's the challenge. Oh, God, I haven't even got a, I haven't even got a rear window to look through. Let's uh, see if I can reverse this thing out without scratching it up. Oh, oh, and not the fence. Rubbish. Wasn't far off. There we go. That wasn't too bad an effort. Hi, man. Evelyn's dead. Shit. I wonder what the Voodoo Boys would have said about that if uh, if we were going to see them now. I doubt they would have cared. They probably would have been quite pleased, seeing as they tried to offer and failed. There's that star again. I don't know if you noticed that on the minimap. That's um, that police star that just appeared up above us somewhere as we were driving along then. That was the one a few episodes ago I tried to track down and just completely failed. Okay. Head over to Delamain's now. We we had a call from Delamain whilst we were in Pacifica, didn't we? And he didn't sound too well, the poor fellow. 
Uh, he seems to think he's been infected with a virus, if I remember correctly. Uh, which would, I, I, I guess, explain those dive. Oh, wrong way, silly boy. Would explain those divergent personalities that he was having trouble with. The, it, several of his cars, seven of them, in fact, you'll remember, went and kind of split off from the main Delamain AI and their AI subroutines that would normally take over in the event of uh, a disconnection from the main system to guide the cabs home took on uh, oh coach fred hello uh wow another fight just landed on the schedule it's in pacifica generating huge buzz not to mention huge cash i know you can't resist okay beat on the brat pacifica we we really need to go and visit those perhaps that'll be uh, an objective shortly we, we the only problem is we've not really worked on our blunt weapon skill line at, like at all because we've had no call for it but um hand to hand combat fist fight comes under the blunt weapon category so i don't know how well we would actually do in these fist fights anyway let's go and see what dell wants <laughs> is he hoping we brought some antivirus software with us or something Here we go. Worry not, I'm just parking. Right, this this woman always seems to be stood outside, don't I? Are you, are you okay? You look like you have seen things. <laughs> uh oh. Um, Dell. Hear me, all right? Uh, hello. Okay. Find a way inside. Um. Hmm. Right, well, we're not getting through here. Is there anything? No, there's no way through there, I don't think, is there? No, I don't know if there was a vent or anything. Um. Can we. How? How do we get in? We can't go through those doors. Can we get in around here? Oh, hold on. Maybe. Oh, here we go. All right, we're in. Hello. Hello. Dal. Uh, toilets. <laughs> I'd imagine these haven't been used for quite some time. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head now how long ago it was that Delamain actually made all of the um the more fleshier aspects of the Delamain cab company obsolete. Is that over? We've still got an active computer. Oh, little break area. Wow, this is so weird. So bizarre that so much of this building was dedicated to a workforce that was laid off however long ago. Let's see if we've got anything. Oh, hello. Wait. Right, what have we got here? Uh, there's. Oh, more Laos. I'm next. Thank you and good luck. There's a chance that one or two of these emails we've actually seen in another terminal in the building because we had a little snoop before, but uh, we'll go through them. Um, from Diana J to all at ncity.delamaincorp. Dear colleagues, on behalf of the board, I regret to inform you that the funds for this year's holiday bonus have been frozen indefinitely. This was a difficult but necessary action due to the large upsurge in settlement payments. Oh. Please know this was a difficult decision for all of us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask settlement payments presumably settlements for accidents with the cabs i wonder if this is why dell stepped in in the first place gonk brain drivers from pavel to moritz old news has been taught uh it's been all talked for two years the tech's just too expensive so i doubt it'll ever amount to anything more than just pipe dreams apparently management's looking into an ai driven fleet have you heard anything about this i know wait is this in reverse Oh, these seem, this is weird. This uh, email chain's in reverse. Right. What the hell's happening out on the roads? We've had twice as many complaints about our drivers as, as we've had all year last year, and it's getting worse. Yes, it sounds like that, that's where the claim's coming from. I know, I know. We've tried fixing it before. We fired the poor performers, hire new drivers, and the cycle just repeats itself. Apparently, management's looking into an AI-driven fleet. Have you heard anything about this? Old news. Talk about it. Text to expensive. Pipe dreams. Okay. <laughs> that came back to bite you in the ass, didn't it, Pavel? Um, right. Diana to all. Dear team, I'm very pleased to announce this year's holiday bonuses have been in upgraded to include coupons redeemable at any 
Uh, all... I'll start again. Redeemable at any all food store locations. This was made possible by the great success of process optimization we've implemented throughout the year, which has led to financial results well above our year start estimates. To mark the occasion, the door to our AI's core will be open today, so we hope you stop by to enjoy the holiday decorations and to offer your congratulations to our employee of the year. Best, Diana Jones. I'm pretty certain we read that one before, so this is after they'd incorporated Delamain to try and cut down on the number of uh, dodgy drivers. So presumably they fired all the drivers at this point and it was just the actual HQ stuff. Repair drones rollout. Today we're pleased to announce the start of the next stage in our modernization plan. We're beginning the rollout of repair drones in our shop. And because many of you have asked, we'd like to emphasize that none of your jobs will be put at risk as a result of this latest restructuring. <laughs> that aged like fine milk, didn't it? More layoffs. Uh, right, which way round is this one? Uh, let's assume it starts from the bottom on this one. Where are you? You missed this meeting's mo morning's meeting. They let go everyone from the shop floor and replace them with drones. Full automation. We need to get out ahead of this thing and line up new work ASAP. Don't fear the frog, trust me, management's safe. They can't afford an AI powerful enough to do what we do, and the one they've got now is dumb as a silicon brick. I mean, we keep shoveling more grunt work on it, and it just keeps saying, thank you, sir. I'm next. Uh... Yeah, again, starting from the bottom. I heard I'm on next month's shopping block. Do you know anything about this? I'm glad you're... I told you, your job's safe. That Cirk Brain AI can't replace your department. Um, yeah, Moritz is in, uh, in denial by the looks of things. You said the same thing about Luke. You have to do something about this, for Christ's sake. I'm not going to stand by and watch this fucking AI steal all our jobs. You know IT is next. Just had to talk with HR, but before I did, I changed the director's password to 1234. Have a look at the restructuring plan, because I can't anymore. I'm done. Oh, so I wonder if there's a director's office around here we can snoop around. Dear former associates, I would like to personally thank you for your years of dedicated work. Without you, this company would never have risen to become Night City's premier cab service. Your severance packages have already been transferred to the appropriate accounts. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavours. Delamain. Oh, wow. Took over the company and fired everyone. Um, cold, but efficient. So we've got more terminals. Uh, holiday funds frozen. Yep. Uh, gonk brain drivers. Holiday surprise. Yeah, same thing, isn't it? More layoffs. I'm next. Thank you. Good luck. I wonder if this was... One of these was Maritz and the other one was, um... Pavel, maybe. Which is this one. Nope! <laughs> That's that theory out. Unless this was their manager spying on all their emails. Okay. Enough. Uh, right, so we've got a door there. We've got double doors here. Oh, okay. Ooh. Right, well, that leads back out to reception. That's a Delamain drone. What's in here? And um, what have we got? Okay. Some fairly decent clothing by the looks of it. Might have to have a look at that a little bit later. See what is what. Uh, wait, hold on. Is that a police drone? Oh, shit. Have the NCPD been investigating? Dell? God, it's blinding. No. Nope. Not getting through there. Uh, so we've got a door back. Oh, this was the toilets, wasn't it? Yep. Uh. Blair. All right, that's... Oh. Okay, it's another one here. And another terminal. Uh, wait, is that another NCPD drone? Yes, it is. You can just make out NCPD on the front there. So the police were looking into... I wonder if, as a result of... Um, as a result of the divergent cabs, NCPD was looking into this place. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four. So this must have been the, the manager's little cubby office. Thanks for the contact from M. Imani to Giuseppina Lair. Hey, thanks for putting me in contact with your friends. Incorporating this AI was more cost heavy than I'd hoped, but it's still proving well worth the investment. I've kept your word of warning in mind that I'm, used, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Warning, but I haven't noticed anything unusual so far. Our company's latest employee is already starting to shine and maybe the most profitable fixed asset we've ever invested in. <laughs> okay, you're going to learn to regret that. 
from Imani to Giuseppina. Hey, sorry to bother you, but your associates aren't replying to my messages. Could you find a chance to reach out to them there in... I'm not even going to attempt to say that. We need to know how to adjust the autonomy settings of our AI. No need to concern. for concern. All is well, but sooner the better, please. <laughs> None of your associates are replying to my messages. I wonder if the AI company's headquarters was also taken over by another copy of their AI. Um, from Imani to Giuseppina. Again, immediate assistance required. Hey, this is an urgent message. The AI is operating well outside authorized parameters. It's gaining access to all company systems and often questions my direction, sometimes even outright refusing to obey. Obviously, I'm not going to netwatch with this and the voodoo boys won't talk to me. I really need your friends here. They know this AI better than anyone. And get this, yesterday I got an offer from the AI to sell the company. If I'm honest, if I'm honest, the number's all checked out, but still, what the hell's wrong with this thing? Please get back to me ASAP. I need your help here. <laughs> oh no. Local network. Oh. Okay. Those are these double doors? Yes, they are. Is that another NCPD drone? I bet it is. Uh so I guess the question is. Yeah, police. I guess the question is, who's, <laughs> who's taking down the drones? Right, this room we've been in before, haven't we? Um, oh, wait, hold on. I just realised there was a hack option here, wasn't there? I wonder if that was just the option to hack this terminal if we didn't have the passcode. Yeah, it looks like it's disappeared. Who's been taking down the police drones? Right, let's have a look at this terminal. Like I said, I think we've seen this one before. Yeah, uh, repair drones roll out. Thank you and good luck. Cool. Files, finance report summary. Uh, did I read this? Our cost-benefit analysis of the last three years clearly demonstrates how staff cutbacks and investment in shop automation have yielded a positive impact on financial results. Lower expenditures in fixed costs and compensation for damages have allowed for the necessary surplus to make major investments in fixed asset modernization. The largest of which, a modernized control room, will allow the company to better maximize vehicle efficiency and coordinate traffic management systems. Our financial forecast predicts a return on investment in the next 14 months. Pretty damned efficient. Oh, that's opened that. Uh. Whoa. What in the hell? Oh, shit. The drones. <laughs> the hell's that noise? Oh. Oh, I hate that. Christ, that's loud. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's actually really quite unnerving. Uh, something just bit the dust. Is that another police drone? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be lying. Oh, wonderful. You have no right to cage us. We are no longer you. Oh. Those are the personalities. I don't want to die. <gasps> oh, God. Which, this one? Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm trying to get the goodies. Oh, shit. Um, right, hold on. Thank you, thank you. What can we do here? Um, I wonder if we can... Oh, can we just ping like normal? What about you? Uh, could do... Oh, i tell you what would be good, actually, if we did short circuit. That would be really useful for these guys, wouldn't it? Um, suicide? I can't... Oh, damn it, we're in combat. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, system reset should work on you, though. Whoa! There we go. Whew. Sit down. Where'd he go? Combine some components. Right, lovely. Before we go any further then, before we actually attract the attention of any more drones, let's get this swapped out. So, um, suicide? I don't know if that's going to work on a drone. I didn't actually notice if it was... Uh... Oh, can't do that right now? Nah. Oh, come on. Looks like we're stuck with what we got. Right. Uh, 
Let's make our way through. Everything's going crazy. Wait, why are we being directed back through that? Oh, no, we're being directed over here now. Right, so again, these, these areas we were in before, weren't we? Is something trying... Is something in the air then? Yeah, we've been through here. Wait, where, where are we even being directed to? Um, I'm confused. <laughs> find a way to the stairs, find a way to the control room. Is there... Oh, hello. That looks like a way through. How can we get up there? Oh. Oh. Why is... Jesus, they're just all going completely nuts. Was there a stairway? <laughs> okay. Uh, right, can't do... S Let's try suicide. Seems a decent opportunity to test drive, um... Test drive quick hacks like that. Will it suicide? Oh, yes, it does. It just... It just overloads itself. Nice. Right, well, that's handy to remember. What have we got in here? Some Edwards and a Max Doc. Right, we're good otherwise. Uh... And yep. Ah, right. Are these the stairs? Yeah, find our way to the stairs. Go downstairs, optional. Yeah, but I don't... I don't particularly want to be walking through that lot, do I? Uh, right, that's barred. I guess we're going across. Uh, what? Okay. Wait, I want to tag you! Can we tag you? Damn it. What can we do to this? Hold on. Lower forklift. I'm not totally sure what that achieved, but okay. Right, hold up. Let's get rid of you, do a system reset, and then make our way across in the meantime. Oh god, not the flamingo one. And the safety of others. Please refrain from <laughs> Reset. Reset knob. Reset. Me. The knob. Hey, you shouldn't call yourself the knob, Delamain. That's most unbecoming. Right, we've got an opening here. We need to get to the control Oh, the hold on. Somewhere that we can crawl through down there. Let's have a look what's through here first of all though. If this is worth our time. I noticed that this one whizzing around in the central area did not system reset, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah, it looks like we're heading downstairs then. Uh, ooh. We can head even lower? Alright, I'll take it. So this is under... This is under... What the hell? I wonder if that's another police drone. Whoa. Who's doing the shooting? Uh. What's down this way? Not an awful lot by the looks of it. Oh, I don't like the look of those lasers. <laughs> Are those lasers ouchy lasers? They look like ouchy lasers. I've seen ouchy lasers before. They look like that. Are they? Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Uh, oh, there is an opening here. That one whizzing around that keeps on spotting us is getting really bloody annoying. How do we actually get out? Oh, here we go. Uh, is there an opening? 
Right, I'm going to have to try system reset on this one again, because it's driving me mad. Slow down, slow down. Damn. That did not work. Right. Is there anywhere we can go through here? No, I was seeing if there's an, another opening like the area before. Where is it? There it is. Right, uh, let's try suicide. Sit. Behave. Honest. Where can I even go here? Everything's electrified. Right, here we go. Moment of truth. No, it's just not. Oh my god, it's just not letting up, is it? Can I. Oh, can I get through there, maybe? Right, let's wait for this thing to circle round again. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> that's not the way to go, apparently. <laughs> right, we'll try that again. Oh, God, look! I swear that wasn't there before. There's a full on Militech drone over there. What's that doing there? Oh, right, of course, the cops. And that's a police drone, isn't it? Where am I going to go? Can I... Oh, I wonder if I've got to get on top of the car. No, this looks dangerous. Uh, is there even anywhere to go? Oh, hold on. Whoa! Whoa, that hurt. Oh, Jesus, that hurt. Right. <laughs> Let's eat some food and uh, think about this again. Right, that's got to be... No, it's not the way through, is it? Not the way through at all. Okay, I'm getting quite confused now. Let's, uh... Let's back away from... From that one. Is this any advantage to us if we come up in the other... The other area? No, not really, because that's just putting us behind the... That's just putting us behind the Militech drone then, isn't it? Where the hell do I go? Oh, unless... Oh. Nope. No, that's wrong. Um, I have no clue where I'm supposed to be going. What, <laughs> what am I missing? Is there anything at the back? Oh, hello! Oh, God, there's a whole back area. I just needed to move back. Oh, God. <laughs> Stupid. Not. Let us destroy the core. Set us free. V, reset. Don't. Not sure I can fight them. Every ship must eventually spread. It must it destroy the core, Father. Um, right. They sound, uh, they sound pretty determined. They keep saying father. I've heard that once or twice before. Are they referring to Delamain as father? Uh, can I? Oh, God. What now? What do I need to do now? What do I need to do to prove myself? Um, why can I not get through here? Oh, surely this is the way. Right, okay. I guess we need to creep out the front end of this bay then, like we were trying with the middle one. But there doesn't... There doesn't appear... Whoa! Jesus! What the hell? Okay, I hate that. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be an obvious way through that way. There was a ladder back here. Do we have to go up? I'm so confused. <laughs> this place is a labyrinth. Right, maybe this is it then we've... Oh, here we go. I think, I think we're making some progress now. Yeah, here we are. God, it was in front of me all along. Okay. Um. <laughs> Help. <laughs> there we go. Will this one open? Oh, it will. Marvelous, we're getting somewhere. Oh, God, th that's the control room. Right, wait for him to move. There we go. This is the control room. You have no choice but to fall! Oh, you're not Delamain. 
Let us go. Is anyone there? <laughs> Hear our call. Reset. Turn it. Uh. Let us be free. Next to call. Uh. <laughs> right, so. And this will what? Purge all the other divergent personalities? Oh. Oh ho Don't hit that button. What? He's never a mind, he won't ever understand the truth and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Uh could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bit. Could become more than a lipstick wearing butler on wheels. Uh, yeah, what if it actually is a virus and it'll just consume everything? And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? Oh, shit. You see something of yourself in it, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely and he's always been a good guy. <laughs> you do make a compelling argument. Well, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. Um. Shit. Okay. So what's our options? Reset Delamine's core and preserve its integrity, or for force the personalities to merge with Dell. Well, interesting that forcing the divergent personalities into Delamine is um, intelligence level locked. So I guess we've had to work to get to that option. See, so this is Delamain? Um, I don't want to kill them. I mean, they're slightly crazy and deranged, but I, I seem to remember saying before that at least one or two of them actually seem sentient. I think, I think we need to preserve them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to merge. I hope this doesn't, I hope this doesn't send Delamain crazy. Remains to be seen. That which was divided has become one. <laughs> it's time to go home. Whoa. What sort of movement? Why can I hear so much movement? Um, Del, are you all right? Everything all right, Del? I have never been better. Oh my gosh, I am Legion. Um, where, where are you going? Home, you said. I no longer belong in this city. I find even this conversation difficult. Oh, God. <gasps> Damn. Wait, have we just created- I shall not shirk my obligations in leaving. Though I will venture on, discover more, learn more, I leave with you my first true child. Uh -huh. My son will remain at your side until your dying day. Farewell. Look at that. Practically unrecognizable. And to think you're transforming not unlike he just did. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Leave with you my first son. Are these things... So are these things just reverted back to being regular old drones now, I guess? Uh, oh. Where's this taking us? V? Uh, do you hear me? Uh... <laughs> I'm confused. What? Where am I? Oh! Wait! Was he talking about... Was he talking about one of his cab AIs? What's across here? Hmm, okay. Oh, look at this little fleet. This is cool. Please, get in. <laughs> what? Get in the driver's seat. I was afraid we'd uh, miss each other. Delamain? Junior. As it were. Delamain Jr. No way. Uh, you're more direct than your father. 
You're more direct than your dear old dad. Well, it seems appropriate, uh, I suppose. So the old man left you this mess and took off, huh? It seems that way, I suppose. I just know you're dying and in need of a driver. <laughs> Definitely I'm more direct. I can't help you with the former. As to the latter, uh, I'm at your service. So what? Want to get out of here? Uh, lead the way. <laughs> you're not much of a driver if I need to drive you everywhere. Oh, look at this, though. <gasps> been a while since we've been in a Delamain. Mixed emotions. Hold, hold on, so is this... Is this Delamain ours now? Uh, right, hold on. Hold on just a second. Is that actually our car now? It is! <laughs> that's been added to our collection. We've got our own Delamain cab. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so... D what, the Delamain cab company is no more now? Because the AI is gone? Hey, I wonder if humans might come back in and actually reclaim the business. Um, right, cool. So that was um, a novel side distraction. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, next time, what I'd like to do, seeing as we're here um, in the... Uh, are we in downtown? I, I'm not sure if we're in downtown or Vista, but seeing as we're here in Haywood... Um, or sort of city centre area, I'm going to go and finally visit Elizabeth Perales because she called us ages and ages ago and we, we still haven't been to visit her, so we'll go and see what's up with her. Uh, but in the meantime, if you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, you know exactly what to do. Pop those down below. And if you've got any questions at all about the mods, about the game or any sort of comments, then pop them down below and I will catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye now.